like one thing I always wondered about was how Jesus proved she was God like. Not God maybe not God himself, mm -hmm. but God like because he was able to heal people who were sick. And like Sure, so let me explain that. It, when we say God-like, in English that's a really vague term, yeah, right? Yeah. So that's why Arabic or Aramaic are more precise languages, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ There is nothing like Allah and He is the one that hears and knows everything. So Allah is unique, okay? So we have some things that are the same in name but not in ability. I suppose it's true, like even from, okay. the, from the Bible, when, when mm -hmm. after Jesus ascended to, to the sky, yes. he, uh, so what was the thing? Oh yeah, he, he, he all the, the teachings, the writings of the Bible were mm -hmm. written in Greek. No, they were originally in Aramaic, but originally Aramaic. and then they were translated into Koine Greek. Ah. And the oldest ones that we have are in Koine Greek, and that's why the original writings are lost. Yeah, because yeah. the Council of Nicaea and Pope Damasus and others, they destroyed the original writings to bring in their corruption. Yeah, it was, I'm with you on that it, one. It was uh, the Latin. Yeah, for example, Jesus, Isa, yeah. peace be upon him, and his followers were not speakers of Greek. No. Right? They spoke Aramaic, which is a form of Hebrew, right? Yeah. So the, the, the sad thing is that the earliest writings Christian scholars go back to today are in Koine Greek. So when you translate and translate and translate, it ends up losing meaning, yeah, that, right? Like so now, yeah. the, the, the reason we keep the Quran in Arabic, even if you translate the meanings, we always keep the original in Arabic. We're not Arabs, but we memorize it in Arabic. We learn the Arabic language so that we don't have the same pitfalls and shortcomings that the people trying to preserve the Bible had, right? The one thing I wonder about, like, I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, when I was talking about, like, saying God like maybe it wasn't sure. entirely perceived as how it should be, but he was able to heal even lepers. True. So healing is something that Allah gives us the ability to do in different ways. But the healing is from Allah. For example, you go to a doctor, right? Yeah. A doctor prescribes you medicine, right? And you get healed, yeah. right? That doesn't mean the doctor has qualities of God. What it means is that Allah used that doctor to give you cure, right? Yep. Just like some other person may go to the same doctor with the same condition, take the same medicine and not get cured, yeah, but right? He, but he, there was no medicine. Sure, I agree with you. For, for so Allah gave Isa, a miracle Isis, that Jesus. Jesus, yes, Isis. that's his real name, right? Yeah, I, so, yeah, without getting into a Latinized name, that's all right. yeah. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Jesus, Isa, a miraculous ability to heal, right? But that's from Allah, right? For example, Moses, Musa, alayhi salam, yep. Allah gave him the ability to split the sea, right? And that's a mirac miraculous ability. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Allah gave him the ability to split the moon. Right? Historic. How did the moon come back together though? So, so this is this is a miraculous uh, nature of it. And not only is it documented in Islamic tradition, but you will find it in other cultures. For example, in the Hindu writings, who were not associated with the Arabs at that time, they witnessed this as well. Right? Allah has power over everything. Right? Just like how do you split an ocean? Without any machinery, right? Yeah. It's a miracle. It's in, it's in Egyptian history, supposedly. It is, and we believe in it. We believe Musa alayhi salam split the ocean. We believe Isa alayhi salam, Jesus healed the sick. We believe that Abraham lived in the fire. Even the fire should kill you, but Allah protected him. And these are signs to know they were true prophets, right? But this is all from Allah. Nobody can do anything without the will of Allah, yeah. right? So in the end, all of that power is with Allah. Allah gives miracles which are called karamat and mojizat, right? Mojizat and karamat, these are miraculous in nature to show the people the truth, right? Some people have fake ones, like, you know, you get these people that do like tricks and stuff, but you can't split the moon, right? Yeah, it's always a concept that I find kind of hard, but explain the sea heel in the sick. Yeah, all, no, but that's one. I mean, we, we, we believe in miracles. We believe the prophets had miracles. Yunus, for example, Jonah, I think in the Latin tradition, he, he survived in, in the belly of the whale. I mean, we have many other traditions, many other miracles, uh, David and Goliath and, you know, Solomon and his ability to control different types of creatures, which are, which are not human abilities. Allah gave it to them as a miracle, but they're still humans. These are miracles of Allah to show the truthfulness of the message of those prophets. Yeah. Yeah. Do you believe in that? 
I, 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 it's hard for me to really concept all religions because even though even like religions like Buddhism and Hinduism, yeah, yeah. they hold even with even with God type and the so I'll give you a, I'll give you a difference, yeah, right? They, 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 um, what's the word? They, they all believe that there is a hell and a heaven or some sort, and they're like Hindus believe in reincarnation. Even Buddhism, right? it's reincarnation, obviously, because they still believe there is some sort of hell. Because even when you hear scriptures and different sure. movies about it, right. they, they all have the same. Right, concept. but but think about this, right? Let's say somebody is, uh, you believe that God is just, right? Just? Like, he, he's... He, he, he's the one and all, yeah. All right. We believe that? We did? Yeah. Okay, so we, we both believe Allah is just, right? Now, there's somebody who rapes children, who massacres people, he goes around, does horrible things, but doesn't get caught, right? He, he was good at it, right? He hid his DNA, whatever, right? He goes, he goes. Right? Forensic files didn't catch him, right? Yeah. So, now, when he dies and he gets away with it right a just exactly see you're on the same page a just creator will not let him get away with it so we believe as muslims from the quran from the old and new testament as well authenticated by the quran that there is a judgment day there is a day that allah will take people to account right and that's in the will of allah and there are punishments for the people who do evil which is as we say the hell but we don't believe in like a, a cartoonist hell that the Christians have painted where the devil's ruling with a pitchfork like we don't believe the devil rules hell we believe shaitan is also going to be punished in hell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still rules everything right and hell is not like you know like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that the about the fire of hell and how much it's hotter and different and worse in many hadith I'm just summarizing here than the fire of earth so the fire is just an example right so something that would be much worse than what you can imagine here oh, yeah. and in Jannah in paradise as, as the Quran tells us as the Prophet ﷺ tells us that there are such beauties you can't imagine oh, yeah. no mind has thought so you believe in that right I, I, the one thing that always grasps me about religions mm. is that somehow they always need money no we don't need money you don't, you're giving all this for free for free for free this is all good this right is, like, we're not taking donations like, I don't take a salary yeah. I know the Catholic Church and all yeah, their they used to, Judaism they used to go around and Mormons and 10 percent I know and they like how fire out they turn their hand on show this right but think about that right that's and a then great they get them to give them money but that's a great that's a great point to differentiate Islam from the other religions yeah. right we're not taking donations we are spending our own money our own time volunteering here why? Because we believe in this message. You become Muslim, we don't want a penny from you, right? You have zakat for the poor that you should give to help, that's different. Yeah. But we as Muslims here, we don't want anything from you. We want to benefit you. We want you to be on the truth, right? Unlike other churches that are like 10% of your gross income goes yeah. to the church, right? Okay. Because they're trying to make that money. You know, how does the Pope buy that little bulletproof car and all the money. stuff in Vatican and stuff? You know, he's not working nine to five, right? <laughs> he's taking poor people's money and he's doing that, right? We don't, right? Yeah, that's, one, that's one concept that was done. Like, but but, I, but I, you I, agree I, with the Islamic aspect of that, right? I, I agree that religion is good to have. Okay, so, so tell me this. What is holding you back from being a Muslim? Uh, criminal activity. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about criminal no, activity. No, no, it's, 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 <laughs> we're, we're not going to take you to court. <laughs> no, it's not you guys. It's uh, them. They'll, they'll be allowed to have all the different kinds of... Uh, yeah, so they, trust they, me. I don't, I don't like yeah, you know who Snowden is? I don't know. I don't like how this country treats Muslims because of how they are. No, I feel I, you. I don't like that. Because so I'll tell you what. I remember when I, okay. when I was in... Uh, I have a solution for you. You have a solution for Yes. You become Muslim, we don't tell anybody. <laughs> Just keep it between us. Yeah, all right? No. You, you don't have to tell the government. You don't have to tell anybody else. I'm not, I'm not. Right? But I, I, I like to read scriptures just because excellent. I like to understand how they work. Like last time I was here, which was like three years ago, I get a book from someone who was from probably yeah. your, your people. Yeah. From your from My people. Your people. Your yeah. people. Yeah, fine. Yeah, so I just. I don't know. Good. So read up. Yeah, and then read. whenever you're ready, yeah. take it. And listen. Yeah. I don't think I'll. I don't, we'll like, keep it look, secret. Look, All right? Mother, I don't like how this country treats different people. Uh, I, I don't like how this country treats different people too, but. Look, I'm a Muslim and I travel, I got no problems, I go to the mosque, I come home, nobody's following me, I'm good. You know why? Because I got nothing to hide. You know, they can... Maybe it's changed over the past decade. It has changed, right? Yeah, probably. But don't let that stop you from accepting the truth. What, okay, what's, I, I always talk about perversion of the book too. Like, yes. anyone can reverse the book. Like, right. Dark Ages, it was all perversion. Like, of the Bible. Trying right. to justify 
gathering. I agree with you, right? Thing. They would just say the jihad or they would say the Crusades. Uh, Crusades. Yeah. And they would do the same. They would sure. go all over Europe and Africa. Sure. And, uh, but what does that have to do with Islam? It, right? Like, for example, tomorrow somebody says, I love Trump. And then he goes and runs his car into a rally of people, right? And we tell, hey, President Trump, that guy followed. And he's like, I, I don't know nothing to do with him, right? So that's the question is that if somebody uses the name of somebody, that doesn't affect them, right? So if somebody misuses Islam for their own political ideology, but that doesn't have anything to do with you and your relationship with Allah, right? So Islam has that, is that link between you and your creator, yeah. right? And you can't, you can't not have that connection. You gotta, you gotta have that bond, right? Because that's your creator. Who, who gave you life? Allah. Allah gave me life. Allah gave you life. Who gave you this oxygen to breathe? So you don't believe Allah. the idea of reincarnation? Do you think? Well, let, let me let me explain that. that. But yeah. first, first, tell me who gives you this oxygen to breathe? Allah. Trees. Who gives you trees? Yeah, Allah. It's all. It's all. In the end, all of that's from Allah, right? Okay. Right. right? We agree. It's from somebody. Right, but you're, you're, it's, hard to, it's hard to grasp the idea of one guy, or not even a not guy, a guy, a guy, creator, all powerful being, yes, that lives up there, above, above us. that, not we up here. We can't see him. We can't see him. We of course. So let me him. let me give you an example, right? Look up at the sky, and what do you see? You see stars. Some of those stars are so far away that by the time you see their light, they're already dead. Yep. This is only the first sama. This is only the first sky. Scientists tell us that past that is a darkness which is so humongous we cannot fathom it as humans okay now imagine you are in a little planet that is among six or seven i don't know if pluto is a planet today or not right planets in a little solar system that is one amongst billions in one galaxy which is one amongst billions in this universe above that universe is so many more greater creation that we don't even know about and the creator of all of that is above all of that right now for us to say I want to see him. Exactly. You should give me a sign. You, want, you, want, it's really right you see, you, you agree there? Good. It's a, it's, a, it's a hard concept, but that's why Allah makes it easy for us in the Quran, right? We, our belief doesn't have to tell us you have to rationalize Allah. What you have to believe is that you know somebody created you. Oh, right? One thing I always grasp is that even what do you punch up from the aliens? Do you think they're aliens? So Allah tells us that there is a alameen. There are many worlds and universes in the in the universe. Like we don't, we know there are other types of creation, like what's called the jinn, right? There could be aliens. Jinn's a whole different. Well, they can. They're spiritual, like. Uh, so the, angels? no angels are malaika. They're made out of a light, right? Not like a light, like one you light at night, but like we're made out of dirt, torab. But it doesn't mean that like you know we wash away with water, right? So that's the building block. Jinn are made out of a smokeless fire, not like the regular fire that we're talking about, right? So they're a different dimension, a different creation, right? Their world and our world lives in, in a parallel and sometimes they do interact, but they will live in their own kind of dimension, right? I'm trying to explain. Like the Malaika are also, the angels are here. Like for example, there's what's called dark matter. You can't see it, but scientists believe it's there, right? There is. You know, there, there, there are particles in this air that we can't see that exist, right? But they live in their own kind of sphere and we live in our own, right? So jinn are another creation. So we do believe there are other creations. Whether there are little green guys driving UFOs or whatever, I don't know, right? I can't, I can't guess at it from my perspective. Uh, but the Quran doesn't say that there aren't, right? And it doesn't say that there's green guys and saucers. So, if they come and say hello, then yeah. Area 51 will be the... I, I believe in them for a lot. Like, like cool. when you see stars move, you wonder if it's a satellite, it's a ship. But even all history, even from China to South America, North America, the area that mm -hmm. we know about, they all believe that creatures would come down and they would describe okay. it as like dragons. Or in, I feel or you. Any kind of creature that would come down from the sky right. and they would greet them Okay, but, but your belief in aliens doesn't stop you from being a Muslim. No, I... I it, when you think there's only one, it's just but there's one planet. creator. Only, you know, well, we as Muslims don't say there's only one planet in the world, yeah. but we do believe there's one creator. But we don't say that creator only created the earth, right? We believe that Allah is Rabbul Alameen. He is the ruler, the greater, the, the Lord of all of the different alam, all of the different dimensions, worlds, universes, all of that. So we actually believe, as what you're stating, that there is more than just us, right?
What's your take on Buddhism in their beliefs? So Buddhism is a philosophy, not a religion, in my opinion. Right. right? Meaning that there was a guy named Mahatma Buddha, who was the original Buddha. He wasn't the guy you see, the little bellied yeah, that guy. Was, that was right? the description of Confucius and all that, right? Yeah. So it was an ideology about don't hurt others and be good and, you know, the circle of life and all that kind of stuff. But it's not really a religion. It's not like a divine book was revealed. He didn't go and talk to his creator. So if somebody... Uh, studies it as a philosophy that's fine but if you take it as a practical religion it doesn't work right because Buddhism cannot answer some of the critical questions that a human needs to know for example where did we come from right Mahatma Buddha never really explained that other Buddhists have their own ideas right also the idea I mean I studied a, a author named Suzuki not the car there's a gentleman named Suzuki yeah not the car that's right. a guy who wrote excellent books on Buddhism I studied them but in them basically the teachings would not fit in society today for example he said you cannot repel violence with violence meaning let's say somebody breaks into your house and you have a mom alive yeah, my parents, yeah. Okay, so let's say somebody puts a knife to your mom's neck about to stab her, right? Yeah. What would you do? Eat the crap out of them. But then that's against Buddhism. In Buddhism, you cannot use violence to repel violence, so you've got to sit there and meditate while he kills your mom. Yeah. I'm not having that. The only time you're able to tell you break one of the rules is if you're able to stop suffering for another person. No, you can't. No, so no, this no, is, I've looked this up too. What, what book did you read it that a, in? It was a Buddhist book. I can't remember the author's okay. name. But so look it up, because Suzuki writes that if you use violence, to repel violence, then you are using the same violence and you become as bad as the violent person. That's why, that's why, that's why I said it's not practical, right? You can't implement that, does, right? Does. I'll give you another idea. Right. What are these? Teeth? What kind of teeth? These sharp ones here. Canines. Canines. Right. What are canines for? Biting. Biting what? Meat. Meat. So humans, by design, are meant to eat meat. Yeah, nothing's wrong with eating meat. Like, I, I, right, I, but I, in, in true Buddhism, you can't eat meat. Yeah, I've, I've been to a Buddhist temple down right. near like 43rd Street. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the uh, I don't care, the, the masks, what are they called? Uh, the, the, the monk? The, the monks. The monks there. Like, I remember one of the Having a monks, and uh, he would talk about giving them money so they could go out and get hamburgers. He even said so Nice. The concept that they had back then is not the same as it should now as, as the days. But, but I mean, that monk was probably kind of breaking some of the rules. No. Because I've sat with monks in Thailand, around the world, in India, and all of them agreed, you, in Buddhism, you cannot eat meat. If, you, if you're a monk, per se. No, I, no, 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 not just monks. I was, I was in Thailand. Uh -huh. The guy there, he did Muay Thai since he was eight years old. Was he a monk, though, or was he a Muay Thai he, fighter? He ate chicken and... He yeah, but, but he chicken. might not have been a Buddhist. He wasn't a, he was a Buddhist. He just didn't... He, used to, he, just, he just didn't follow that rule. No, he was just... He wasn't a monk. He was, uh -huh. They were able to do that, though. They, they found the concept that... They're, they can. Okay, but the then that monk you them. meant eating the hamburger was breaking the rules because he was a monk, right? No, the monk who was doing it, he was a novice monk. He's still learning the uh, concept all the time. So you can keep I, eating meat until you get like a certain level? or? I, I guess there's a certain level where you enter life and like even then when their master died, like when the master died, he was, he was a monk and he was probably eight or nine, I think, one of those. Wow. He was the, he was the leader over there at that school. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, uh, when he died, they actually went off fast for like I think ten, like ten days or two, something like that. And they, they had drinks. That's all they would have. They didn't eat any drinks like drink. water. Or? Water. Yeah. Okay. Water. I thought they were drinking beers and no, stuff. No, they weren't drinking. <laughs> no. But Can they drink beer then? He does, but uh -huh. not like not during that time. Though, obviously, they they want a special, and then they would get the the feeling of uh, that being drunk. Like, not drunk. No, <laughs> I'm, not talking, I'm not talking about. Alcohol. I'm talking about uh -huh. when they were uh, the. When they were celebrating their master's death. Even gotcha. after 100 days, they celebrated it too. But see, the question is, where did they get all that from? They, get all they just made it up, right? And Buddha didn't say any of that, right? He, 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 even Buddhists for this, they believe there's a hell and a heaven. They believe that they, they, there can be reincarnation. Like, if you have a bad life, like if you, like the guy who used to rape children, all right. them, he goes on, he gets away with it all. So when he gets, when he's grown, he grows into a cockroach. And then they smush him. That's, but, how they, that's but, how they would believe but, but what is the evidence for any of that? They just made they, that up, they, right? They, I mean, they, they can't remember that. And when they do die, they either... No, what I'm saying is there's no scriptural evidence for that, right? There's no scriptural evidence. How you doing? Feel free. There's no scriptural evidence of a lot. Right, so, so we're saying in Islam, we have scriptural evidence, revelation from our Creator of what is truth and falsehood, right? Yeah, I remember reading this about uh, like the scientific reading of the Bible. Excellent. I read some of it and it, it all it all makes sense. Like any religion can make there sense. There you go. When you have well, not not any religion, right? Because some religions you look at it, and a lot of what they say doesn't make sense. 
Like if you like in Hinduism, for example, they got the idea of Rahma and Sita and Sita getting kidnapped by Ravan and the God couldn't take his wife back. That doesn't make sense to me. Right? Does it make sense to you? Aliens come down to tell Compton. That's how they both see. You say different aliens come to Compton? Aliens would come down. Okay. And they were Please go ahead. That's how they would get this free. You don't have any Spanish? Uh, let's see. There you go. Español. Yeah. Uh, I think we have some other Spanish books. No, we don't. I'm that book is in Spanish. Oh, this one. This is excellent. I suggest uh, it's a small book. You can have all of them for free. No problem. Hey. No problema. How are you doing? Go, f Go ahead. Go for it. Oh, in Espanol. There you go. Yeah. And take this one. This is a very good intro book. There you go. You want the English one or the Spanish? Okay, cool. Well, then you want this is the English one if you want the English. Oh, yeah. All right. There you go, no problem. Let me get one in English. Go for it. Thank you. Thank you. Let me know if you have any questions. <laughs> there's, plenty, there's plenty of questions I can have. All right. You, but now. You believe he's real? You believe he was a. Yes. Like a, you just believe that uh, Muhammad, he, uh, when he came, peace be upon him, as you say. There you go, good job, here, man. And he, he uh, gave us a new directions. Not new directions. He brought the same instructions as Isa, Jesus had, but they were corrupted after his death. So he kind of, just like Isa was doing to the to the teachings of Moses and David, and then the Jews had corrupted them. So he was kind of bringing it back to the to the the meaning of the law, not the letter of the law, right? Yeah. So the Muhammad peace the peace be upon him did the same thing. He he brought that revelation from the same Allah to show the people, look, Jesus is not the Son of God. He's not God. That's not what he claimed. That's not what he said. Uh, he was a Muslim, he was somebody who believed in Allah and he brought the same message as Jesus, as Moses, as Abraham, peace be upon all of them and we love and respect all of them. Yeah, there's always concepts that always used to. I don't know the Hindu religion, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch yeah. that one. It's all, they have different gods. And yeah, yeah gods monkeys and, and rats and... Four-armed or six-armed. Yeah, yeah, genitalia. But, yeah, it's all, it's all good. But uh, it just, I don't, I don't know what is real like. How you doing? What is like. Feel free. To be able to, go, ahead. Uh, go, ahead. go ahead, it's free. It's this is a really good intro book if you want to get that. I mean, it's free again. So if you have any questions, feel free. Nice to see you. How you doing? I remember like the, when when Jesus walked into the Jerusalem when he rode in on a donkey. He uh, when he saw how in that the holy place that they were at, that how they were charging money, charging money and yeah. All the, he flipped the tables. That's right. not what it's about, you know? So that's the same thing with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he saw the people had taken the, the teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him, and corrupted them, yeah. he brought that final revelation, right? Do you agree with that, right? I agree that there shouldn't, Good. Be, there shouldn't be like people justifying what they do from religious books. And Good. Even, it's like, like one thing I know about the Bible, if you were to put it in like, how you say it? Like for each letter means something. Mm -hmm. Like basically construction before leaving Earth. This can be the exact same way. Then you, you, be, you believe. I mean, I mean like, like, like such a that's such a definitely. foolish thing to do is to put meanings to letters because Bible is not the original title to no, begin with. That's no, a Latinized name, yeah, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was that's like saying Bible. FBI, female body inspector. Like uh, you can put any t names, you, letters you want, but that, that doesn't mean. Instructions on how to live. This is this is this is instruction on how to live, and this is the preserved. Like this is the one. That's it's been 500 years, right? This is more than more than 1400 years ago. So it was like 500. Yeah, later. Of the 500s yeah, to the right, early 600s. Right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so it's just. So there was about 600 years between the Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Jesus, peace and be upon them. One thing about the uh, Christianity is that when the Michael came mm -hmm. down to speak with the Michael, right? Gabriel? That was the thing. Yeah, Gabriel, Jibreel. Gabriel yeah. came down, spoke to Muhammad, and gave him peace be upon words. him. In Christian mythology, they believe that Michael is an archangel, which, isn't a, which means he's a bad guy. But that's just because their belief was different. So we don't believe in any bad angels. We believe all the angels are good. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. But everything you've said, you seem to agree with the Quranic teachings. I try to be as open minded as I can for any good. Study, good. Because I want to understand how they. So I'll tell you what. When you take the book, read it, and pray, pray to your Creator to open the right way for you. All right. One thing I have a question though. I have a question. I understand that women are, don't show even their ankles, they, like in this way. Yeah. So this was basically from the book about how women yes. dress up. So, so the Islamic law works like this. There are ayat in the Quran, for example, in Surah Ahzab, that mention about the the covering of the woman. 
And then there are sayings of the Prophet وسلم, that explain the limits, right? So the idea is, let's say, are you married? No. All right. So let's say you're married, right? And you have a beautiful wife, right? Yeah. You don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry trying to, you know, look at her privates and all that, right? You don't want, you're a man, like you don't want to, you, you don't want that, right? Because that beauty. The longest duration I had with a month. The what? The longest relationship I ever had with a month. So the longest like, relationship in your life was a month? Yeah. Wow. No, I man. never really had well, I'll tell you what. jealousy happen. All right. You become Muslim. We'll find you a good Muslim have, wife. You can have a yeah, married yeah, life, right? That'd be nice. That'd, All right. That'd be nice. But, uh -huh. yeah, so obviously any guy would get jealous if someone's organized over There you go. So, so that's the thing. That woman's beauty is for her husband. It's not for some pervert we're trying to, you know, do whatever with, right? Yeah. So, Islamically, the woman is honored, right? She is given that honor that she covers so men don't judge her because of her bra size or anything like this. Rather, you know, she's, she's something that is respected for her feelings, for her mind, for her intellect, right? Yeah. And then between you and your wife, you know, it's all, it's all good, right? Because that's where it's meant to be. Even for men, you don't see me in little speedos and a marble bag, right? Because that handsomeness that I have underneath these clothes is for my wife and it's not for me to be, you know, tempting the women out here with, right? So obviously not, right? Because, you know, I don't want to be a temptation for people. So, so this is the Islamic clean way of life, right? Now what happens in America or in the West is people misuse that, right? You see some woman in a bikini jumping up and down selling chewing gum. It's got nothing to do with chewing gum. You're, just, you're, you're exploiting yeah. the female body for marketing, yeah. right? Not even going to get into the whole porn industry and all that stuff, right? So Islam keeps that clean society. It honors the woman, it honors the man, it gives them their places, it gives them that life of harmony. And how do we know it's the best way of living is because it was, it was sent by the Creator. Like think about this, right? You, you say, say you buy a new cell phone, right? Or a new laptop or a new some technology, right? Sure. You may not know how to use it. So what do you get with it? You get a manual, right? Manual. There you go. The Quran is that manual. It is from the Creator, the manufacturer, right? So Apple makes a phone or Samsung or LG, whatever. They know how to use that phone the best. So if you take an apple and, and you know in the old days at least and you, you started to store it inside your fish tank, it's not going to work really well, right? Because it's not supposed to be there. So the, so the user manual tells you, don't put this in water, right? Huh? So this is the same thing with the Quran, right? Alcohol, for example, right? <coughs> well, alcohol is out there, right? Yeah. How you doing? Hey. If you want some of these more, they're all free, right? Alcohol is there, but we're not supposed to be consuming it the way people do to poison. get drunk. It's poison. Man, see, you, you're I, Muslim. I might, might you, 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 the you're, there you go. And now you realize why Islam is the only one that makes sense. Because Islam is the only religion out there today that tells you don't be drinking alcohol, right? Other religions, you see Orthodox Jews drunk. I've seen it myself, right? So, like you were saying about the Buddhist monk drinking beers and stuff. He but you know. Beer. He was not drinking beer. I did not think he was drinking beer. I said he drink. had a hamburger. All right, so, but they, you said another one drank beer, right? No. No? Okay. No, but he, they could drink beer. He's a monk. He doesn't How live you doing? there. Feel free. He doesn't live there. He, he, he goes there Sunday. Gotcha. No, no, Phil, go ahead. He's just about the Bible. That they're made different versions of the Bible, not because, mm -hmm. because religion seems different, just because it's been converted. It's been Agreed. I, that's what he told me last week. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't know that. So that, that was definitely an idea. I'm glad you learned something. To, to know that. So now think about this, right? The creator, the manufacturer of the product knows how to use it best, right? So then if you look at the Quran, this is from the creator, the one who created us. So the rules in the Quran for hijab or for not drinking alcohol, as you know, these are what's best for us, right? And that's why, how you doing bro? That's why it's good for us to be able to submit ourselves to our creator because he knows best how to use us, right? And how we should live our lives. Do you agree with that? I agree that there are, you good. have some, like a lot of what we learn from how we grow up and how we treat people from families is one mm -hmm. way. And then some families have good, you know, religious beliefs. Right. Even if a Mormon, even if they're wrong in their beliefs, they still can have peaceful lives and have their lives. With them. Sure, but the, but the thing is, when people are making up their own rights and wrongs, then we're never going to have agreement, right? Somebody will say you should have uh, transgender marriages. Somebody will say you shouldn't, right? Oh, yeah. They're just going to have fights back and forth. But well, we though. believe we believe there is a divine law, right? Now, me personally, if I have a different mindset and my wife has a different mindset, then we're just going to fight. But if me and her 
both agree on a divine law, then what that does is we can go back to our Creator's laws and solve those differences and then live by a moral code that is from a higher authority. It's not just from us making up our own laws because if you make up your own laws, tomorrow you could, the, the majority of the people come and say, you know what, it's okay to enslave Asians, or right? Mexicans. Or Mexicans or whites or, or like, exactly, right? And then people can make their own corrupt laws and the next day they'll be like, oh, we were wrong, sorry, right? So, so that's why Allah's laws are the best because they don't change. They're divine in origin. They're from the manufacture of the human being. So it knows best how best a human should live, right? Yeah, I actually have personal back from my stepdad, my step-grandma about what they did. I won't get into detail, but mm. they're going to prison now because of what they did to my mom when I was, like, yeah. when I was young. Yeah, I actually see that yeah. where she shot me. Wow, with a. Yeah, they went right back there. What did she shoot you with? Uh, nine mil, probably. Nine millimeter? That's yeah, a pretty bad shot. Yeah, I don't want to juice people, but that happened. That, that uh, looks yeah, horrible. I, yeah. yeah, it's bad stuff. So See, so that, that's a, you have a great point. I mean, look at if they lived their life by Islam, that would have never happened. Supposedly, they, but one was a psychopath, the other one, he, uh, he was a pilot with it for a long time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like. They thought they could just go on living their lives the way they were because mm -hmm. you no know, one would do it. I didn't remember it after it happened. I yeah. really didn't. I, I, I uh, just repressed it, probably. Yeah, probably. And, and I just I blocked think, it out. They were able to get away with it for better part of almost two decades. They were able to get away with yeah. it. And uh, they, they, she, she was such a happy person all around. Like she was thought she was just a nice little old lady. Everyone go around. She's, she's going to go to the Psychopath. fire. She's going yeah, yeah. to suffer for the rest of so her life. So you do believe in hell. <laughs> I, I believe that people are going to suffer in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Like, even you said people, she's going to go to the fire, so that you do believe that, in hell. That's, that, that, that's, that's, that's something that you have to take into concept. No, like, we're, we're, we're on the same page people then. People who believe in nothing, like how can you believe that... Uh, how you doing? Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah. Faddalu. How can, how can you believe Allah. that someone who does something that bad wouldn't get punished in some way? I agree with you. I totally agree with you. And that's why you should be a Muslim. Because you already have that belief, you know. You, can, you don't have to tell anybody. It's all right, man. We'll keep on the deal. <laughs> uh, if you guys are back next week, I'll have another conversation with you after everything. All right, all right. And if your conversation goes well and you pray to Allah, you're going to become a Muslim then. Maybe. All right. All right Sounds good, man. Thank you. Right, what's your name? Uthman. 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 I don't. I don't thank you. Uh, Abu Yusuf. How's that? Abu Yusuf. Yeah, Abu Yusuf. All right. Good. Hey, man. Thank you. All right. Or you can just call me the man. The man. Yeah. Either way.